Yet Welshmen knew that they were chronically under-resourced. Still a cottage industry, and they could achieve so much more. The staff and the bombs were working around the clock, but vital intelligence was not being picked up in time. Welshman realised that he had no choice but to go to the very top. He, together with Alan Turing and Stuart Milner Barry, wrote this fantastically audacious, rather cheeky message to Winston Churchill. Gordon put a lot of pressure on Churchill to produce more staff for us because he realised that we were grossly overworked and under considerable strain and uh, that our equipment was appalling. Now, imagine writing a letter like this to Winston Churchill. Dear Prime Minister, some weeks ago, you paid us the honour of a visit and we believe that you regard our work as important. We think, however, that you ought to know that this work is being held up and in some cases is not being done at all, principally because we cannot get sufficient staff to deal with it. This has got Gordon Welshman all over it. Just go direct to the top man. And that's exactly what Gordon Welshman did. And he got an instant reply. Make sure they have all they want on extreme priority and report to me that this has been done. Action this day. This memo had a remarkable effect. Bletchley did indeed receive more resources. Major building work followed. The park was transformed from a ramshackle collection of huts into a giant code-breaking production line. Now, 70 years later, 